Okay, guys, here is our math message for lesson 8-2. So in this lesson, you guys are using real-world examples to help you solve for unknown angle measures. So let's get into number one. The directions say find missing angle measures. For each problem, write an equation with a letter for the unknown to show how you found your answer. Okay, so let's look at this first problem. So they're showing... A sprinkler so they want to know from point A so right here to B so this angle right here is 65 degrees so when the sprinkler gets to where the arrow for B is it went 65 degrees they want to know how far did it go for C the rest of the way well, we know that this line right here is a straight angle. And a straight angle has a degree of 180. So you could take your knowledge of 180, subtract what we already know, which is 65 degrees, and you always wanna make sure you include your little degree symbols, equals C, this angle right here. And if you did that math, you would get 115 degrees. So C is equal to 115 degrees. Let's look at number two. So it looks like it's a skateboarder that is spinning around in a circle on his skateboard. I know that a full circle rotation is 360 degrees, the whole thing. They give you from this point to about three quarters of the way, and they told you that it's 270 degrees. So what we're looking for is that last bit, S. So if you take the full circle rotation, which would be 360 degrees, minus the degree they give you, which is 270, you would get the value of S, the angle measure for S. And if you did that math out, you would get 90 degrees. And you can see because this forms a 90 degree angle. Okay, let's look at number three. So here is a moving track and they wanna know what the angle is from the ramp to the ground. So they give you a few key pieces of information. They give you the straight angle, which is 180 degrees. They give you from the ramp to the floor, which is 160 degrees. And they want you to find out what this angle from the floor to the back of the ramp, which would be labeled as R. So you take the str straight angle 180 degrees, you subtract the angle you already know, which is 160 degrees, and you would get the measure for R. And R is equal to 20 degrees. Okay, number four, here is a grapefruit. So they want to know what is the angle of the already eaten parts of the grapefruit. So this is very similar to the skateboard. So I know this whole grapefruit is a circle. So the whole grapefruit has an angle of 360 degrees. They give you the uneaten part, which is 270 degrees, and they want you to find out this angle, P. So if you take the whole angle, which is 360, you subtract what you already know, which is 270, and the amount that you ate from the grapefruit is 90 degrees. You ate 90, an angle of 90 degrees. And you can tell because it forms an L. Okay, five. So this is a person sitting back in their chair, and they want you to see how much of an angle did they move forward, and if they continued forward, how much would it be? So let's look at what is the total amount. Well, this is a right angle, which I know equals 90 degrees, okay? And if that means from here to here is 65 degrees, 
they're looking for C, this piece. Well, if I know this whole thing is 90 degrees, I'm going to subtract 65 degrees because that's what they gave us. And you would whatever's left would be the angle measure for C, which is 25 degrees. Okay, six. You are solving for L. So, very similar. You know that this is equal to 90 degrees. They give you from here to here, which is 45 degrees, and they want you to figure out the unknown angle for L from here to here. So this is actually a dancer or a gymnast or somebody working out that's kicking their feet. So they wanna figure out the angle of that person and how much they're moving their body. So if the total angle measure is 90 degrees, now you could do this two ways. You could keep doing it how we've been doing it, taking the total angle, subtracting what you know, which is 45 degrees, and you would be left with L. You also could have done it as an additive, so adding. So 45 degrees plus L would give you 90 degrees. And if I did that math, I know that 45 degrees is your answer. And then for C, I'm sorry, seven, you can name any real world examples involving angles. It could be a soccer goal, it could be a um, hockey goalie, um, your answers will vary depending on whatever it is you put in. Okay, so watch the next video when I go through all of the journal pages. There's a few for this lesson. There's three journal pages. So make sure you do all of them before you watch the next couple videos.